Hey, how do you doodly do? In the last episode we reached the marina of Naxos just after dark. Now we woke up to see our boat almost halfway in. As you can see we didn't get much room in the marina at first. But winds were strong and we didn't feel like sailing under these conditions, so we rented a scooter and did a sightseeing of Naxos. So come along! What do you think? It's an unfinished statue. Yes, yeah. of Lerio of Sarangi. So it's a little hike. Let's yeah, so let's do it. Look, monument. <laughs> Somewhere you can sit and uh, do a mermaid pose. Not so much mermaid pose. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, whatever it is. good one. The struggles of today. So they just put him to rest here. This is what you call boobs. That was actually pretty nice. <laughs> like a Greek goddess. <laughs> okay, this is Inga from Sweden. Hello. Actually, face sitting. <laughs> Inga from Sweden. I just had to sit somewhere and I had to sit on her face, obviously. <laughs> oh la la. Maestro. I'm hungry. Hungry. <laughs> We're at some small town uh, on the island of uh, what's the Naxos. Naxos, yes. And we're in the city of. Is this the place? And um, as I grew up on a goat farm, they told me they were serving goat here today, so I had to try it. And this is a goat soup. So I gotta try it. And she is for a Greek salad. Yummy, yummy. Have you seen this delicious? This is... Yeah. I'm sure it's delicious, but it's great. <laughs> mm. Brilliant. So where are we going, Captain? Uh, we're going to Muni. Muni. I have no idea what Muni is, but uh, it's uh, an old ruin of a temple of some sort. And there is a cross on the top, so... Church of... Moni Monastery derives its name from the former Byzantine monastery, which is today the Church of Our Lady Drushani. It's built in the 6th century AD in the Byzantine style and found on the way to Hockey. Thank you. 
Oh, sorry. The Byzantine Church. The Church of St. George the Asuritis, uh, forgive me my pronunciation, was built in the 11th century. It must have been one of the most important churches in the region, attested by the architecture, the wall paintings and sculptures, etc. in its own special way.
Did you say yes? Yes? No? <laughs> no? Is there any regret? <laughs> Oh, where are we going? Around. <laughs> We're taking a tour. Beautiful tour. Wow. Maybe not this as beautiful as Viva. These streets in Naxos are crazy. They're beautiful. So beautiful. We learned that these narrow streets in Naxos town was part of the strategic defense. An invasion was difficult as it would be impossible to send a large group of men in to raid. And as they are built almost like a labyrinth you will need some local knowledge to find out where you are. Now these streets serves as a cozy frame for small shops, restaurants and street vendors. We can only imagine how time consuming it must be to bring deliverers into this city. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should go. I think we should go down here. Oh, this is where we're going. <laughs> oh my God. Anything good? Very good. You want to check it out? Yeah. I'm up for anything. So, where are we? Where are we going to? We're going to... Do we have any idea of anything? Nitra Tiempel. Yes, and this is located... Right here. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to find out where we are. We are lost. Yes. At the moment. Yes. So we know where we are. We are lost. What do you know about this temple? Uh, well, it's Greek. <laughs> and it's on the island of uh, Naxos. Naxos. True that. And that's just about it. <laughs> and it's old ruins. Well, here are some facts about this temple that I found on the internet. The temple of Demeter on Naxos is located near the village of Sangri. This magnificent temple was been made of the finest quality marble Naxos had to deliver and is believed to date back to the 6th century before Christ. As Demeter was the ancient goddess of grain, people used to build temples to her close to fertile areas. Such a fertile ground is found around the village of Sangri on Naxos. The church was probably ruined in the 6th century AD after an invasion of the Arabs it was rebuilt in 1977 in a southern location. So, what do you think about this masterpiece? Beautiful. Yeah? Yes. Super pretty. It's a little like... Uh, it reminds me a little about the Acropolis, only much, much smaller.
In the mood for food? Only ice cream. It's too windy to sail today, so here we are looking at the beach from a distance and having a little lunch. As always I wish to thank you for watching this video and hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you are new here so you won't miss the next episode when we sail to Kintos. Now the big question is, will it be a windy passage over there from Naxos? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Oh and don't forget to give this video a like and a share it with all your friends. I wish to thank all my supporters for watching these videos. Like always a special thank you to my gold supporters Bob Herzog, Peter and Raymond Pembroke. Thank you very much for supporting and see you next episode. Bye bye!